Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today is day five of our 30-day SQL challenge, where we're going to start creating our own tables inside of SQL. So our agenda for today, we're going to learn how to create SQL tables. And in order to create the table, you need to create the database first. So I'm going to show you how to do that in SQLite. We're going to do a quick review of column data types. So remember, our table is made up of rows and columns. And when we create columns, every column needs to have a data type, whether it's integer, whether it's text, or so forth. We're going to revisit very briefly about constraints. So remember, a column can have a constraint. One of those constraints could be the primary key. And the primary key is just a unique number that identifies every row in the table, and it can't have any duplicates. We're then going to talk about how we can insert rows once we create the table columns. And then we're gonna hop into SQLite Studio to create our own table. Now, if you're new to the challenge, welcome. I highly recommend that you go back to my channel, hit playlist, and there is a whole SQL 30-day challenge playlist to get yourself all caught up. If you're not new, welcome back. Keep going. The whole goal of this challenge is to work for 30 days straight. I know consistency can be tough on learning beginner to intermediate SQL skills so that we can do projects in hopes to land an entry-level data role. On the left-hand side of my screen is a topic list, and this is just a Word document where I post links for supplemental resources as well as links for the videos as they come out. If you don't want to look at the topic list and just want to be reminded when I post a video, please hit the notification bell. On the right-hand side is our Facebook support group. So I have created a Facebook group where we can chat all about the 30-day SQL challenge. You can ask questions, you can give feedback or find a study buddy. So let's look at the syntax for how we're going to create the table. And in this syntax, I want you to know that the constraints are optional. Constraints are optional. So in this case, we're going to do the keyword create table the name that we want to call our table, and then inside parentheses, we're going to list the columns. So it's gonna be column one with its corresponding data type, column two with its corresponding data type, and so forth and so forth. And then we end this statement with a semicolon. Now the data types. So this was mentioned in a previous video, but for real quickly, integers, text, real numbers, var char, which is variable length strengths with a maximum length of n. So in this case, I am creating a name column with a maximum length of 50. You also can store exponential numbers and a lot more. So common constraints, once again, very quickly here, that primary key is going to be that column that is unique to each individual row. It won't be missing and it won't have any duplicates. So in this example here, the ID column is going to be the primary key. It is an integer. It will not have any duplicates. So that means row five and row 10 cannot have the same ID. You can have a not null constraint. In this case, I need the name. So if the name is missing, it can't be null. It's gonna throw me an error. Unique constraints, you also have checks that you can do, and you can assign a default value to a column if none was given. So in this case, status, if no status is given, I want to do the default text of active. Now, once we create the table, we have to do the insert into statement or the insert statement where we actually have to insert rows inside of that table. So in this case, I'm gonna do insert into the name of the table, the columns that exist in that table, and then the values for the row that I want to insert. And once again, this is going to end in a semicolon. So let's hop into SQLite Studio now and actually practice this. That's the fun part. So if you don't have SQLite Studio downloaded, no worries. I'm going to link that in the chat below. So here is SQLite Studio. Some of you might already have some text inside of your editor. Feel free to highlight it and delete it. 
Some of you may not see this database drop down menu, but you can go to view and you can um, check databases. That is going to make sure that window pops up for you. So anytime a window goes missing, just go to the view tab and actually check it back on. And in this case, I want to create a table of black actresses because why not? Juneteenth is tomorrow. We love black culture. So that is what I'm going to create. So in the toolbar, you're going to see this plus sign. And when you hover over it, it's like the third icon. It is going to tell you add a database or you can hit database and click add a database. And since I'm not uploading a database file, I'm just gonna call this database my, no, I'm just gonna call it test. And I'm gonna say, okay. I'm actually going to call this cause I've used tests before. Let's call this my test. And then I'm gonna hit this plus sign to create it as a new database. I'm gonna save it as my test. And I can save this to my documents. You can save it wherever you want, your desktop, your downloads, whatever. And I'm gonna say save and I'm gonna hit okay. And you're gonna see that it pops up on my database view, my test. So now we want to get into actually creating our table here. So now let's do the create table. Remember that the keywords in SQL are not case sensitive but the actual data values are case sensitive. So I'm gonna put create table in this case in all lowercase, and I'm gonna call this table black underscore actresses. And I'm gonna open up my parentheses. I'm gonna tab over just for readability. And now we're going to list all the columns I want in this table. So I want an ID column, and that data type is going to be integer and it's going to be a primary key. So every black actress in this table should have its own ID, comma, the name of my next column. I'm gonna call this name, and that's going to be text. And I'm gonna say that we can't have that blank, so I'm gonna put the not null constraint. I then am going to do birth date. That also is gonna be text, no constraints here. And then last but not least, I'm gonna do awards. And I'm going to put this as an integer with a default value of zero. Then I'm going to close this parentheses with a semicolon. And before I run it so that this table is not created in my Chinook database, cause that's my default, I'm gonna put my test in front of this with a period so that it actually creates this table in my MyTest database. Now, you can add more columns if you want, have fun with it. I'm also going to link this code in the description below, but please, please type it out so you can build up that muscle memory. So let's go ahead and highlight this and run it. And when I double click on my test now, I see that that table has shown up. So let's see what's in the table just for funsy. So we're gonna select star and we're gonna learn about the select statement later, but star means select everything from the table. You don't want to select everything in the industry because most of these tables are huge. But in this case, I know I have nothing in it. So I'm going to do select star from my test dot black actresses. So the name of the database which is my test and the name of the table is here. So I'm gonna highlight that. And here you see I have a table with columns, no rows. That makes sense to me because we didn't add anything into this table. So now let's actually add something into the table. So I am going to do my insert into statement and I'm going to add in, let's say two rows in this case. So I'm gonna do insert into and I want to insert into my test dot black actresses because that's the table I want to insert this table into. And I am going to say the columns and I'm going to just keep it in the same order that I created it, which was ID, name, birth date, and awards. And make sure you spell it correctly. ID, name, birth date, and awards. Then I'm going to hit enter. 
And now I'm going to do this values and I'm gonna put my values as a set of parentheses. So every row gets its own set of parentheses. So my ID, I'm gonna do 1001, it's an integer. Name is text, so I'm gonna put it in single quotes and I'm gonna put Viola Davis. Birthday is also text, so I'm gonna put that in single quotes. And you can make up some of these values. And then awards is an integer, so I'm gonna put one. And then I'm gonna put a comma after that. And then I'm gonna tab over again for readability, the tabs don't matter. And I'm going to add my, act, my other actress. So I'm gonna put 2002 and I'm gonna put Lupita. I'm going to put the birthday as text. And I'm also gonna put one for the award. So notice once again, my integers are not in quotes, my text or my bar chars are in quotes. And I'm gonna end this statement with a semicolon. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And then I'm going to select everything again. And I see that I actually have rows inside of the table I created. And here you are, you've created your first table and have added data to your first table, pretty cool. So some things to keep in mind, the reason why I highlighted this chunk and didn't highlight everything, SQLite may throw you an error if you rerun this code because it's gonna say this table already exists. Okay, so it's saying, hey, this table already exists. Why are you creating it again? So if you rerun this after you add another row here, say for instance, I add another row, it may yell at you and say, hey, you're trying to add Viola Davis or ID 1001 again, and ID is a primary key. So the way to get around that, if you wanna add more rows, is just do another insert into statement. Put in your columns and then do another values, okay? Because it sometimes doesn't like it when you rerun those. But that is your first table. That is so exciting. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot in day five. Like I said, keep going. I'm going to have a link to SQLite Studio below as well to our Facebook community so that you can get help in our topic list. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have an Etsy shop as well as the ability to buy me a $5 coffee for me creating this free content. Thank you so much, and I will post day six tomorrow. Bye-bye.